Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today the lighting is lighting. If you are new, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today the yo guys Anyways, today I am going to take you on a tour around UCT residences and I think it's a good um time because people just got allocated to the races for next year so if you want to know how the rest you're going to next year looks like what the culture how the culture is and most importantly how many people you're gonna share with because that's a very important thing it's just a plea that you can't choose your own rest they just allocate you and the sooner you accept that they're not gonna change the better Anyways, I will start with the rest that I'm in and that's Walsack Residence in Middle Campus. Let me show you around my room and then we'll go probably around the rest and I'll go to Art Square. As you enter, these are the paths or pavilions. There are courts and paths. I will show you the courts later in the video. This is the reception area and there's a little view of the mountain now about the reception area you don't have to sign anyone in um, you use the reception area to sign out a broom a mop or a dust pad pen or the laundry room keys and there's just something about this building that screams apartheid I don't know it's, I don't know if it's just me but there's just something about this building specifically that's it screams it screams oppression man but anyways um i am not implying anything with that statement please do not take it anyhow it's just a joke um so those are the courts this side is called the courts that side is called pavilions and yeah so each court has two floors and i'll show you the upper floor this one has a much better view than the one i stay in this is the kitchen area for the second floor of court one the white aesthetically pleasing setting and then there's these brown this does brown furniture and it's just meh anyways this is the wardrobe it's very spacious i can't open it because wow <coughs> oh, wow and then you have oh my favorite thing is this light here this is my favorite thing when you're taking your mm. and this is me ladies and gentlemen anyways you have this mirror you have a hey, there's a lot going on here there's a lot going on here but yeah you have this basin you have this mirror and this light this is my favorite and then these are my pictures and that's me that's me that's me that's me these are just yeah and then this is my favorite one because wow I don't think I, I, I would have made it without this without this man shout out to this man's man has been showing up consistently this man has been has been picking me up when I was down yo I could go on and on but yeah shout out to this man this is my desk it's not the cleanest and yeah this is my desk this is a, this, this, like a small side bed table but mine is here yeah, because well i wanted to put my fridge there and these are my books well, this is a picture my boyfriend got for me and this was a plant pot but unfortunately my plant decided that it can't do this life thing anymore and decided to die may it I made not rest in peace noise and then there's this space here you can just put your your pillow and your blanket and you can just come relax here 
or read a book or something but yeah this space is my absolute favorite if you just want to chill Then we have a shower, there's only one shower and two toilets, there's a smaller one here and then there's the main, I'd say the main bathroom, there's a toilet, basin, mirror, there's a bathtub but we don't use it and yeah. So this is the kitchen, there's two kitchens, in my kitchen there's four of us and in the other one there's six but in other cots and other perps it's usually five five so yeah you can host your friends and sit over there and this is our fridge they put them in those things so you can lock them because people were stealing each other's food anyways um you have two you can choose two cupboards where you can put your food and in the other one your plates and your pots and yeah Um, this is how the rooms look they're not that big very small but then at the end of the day i mean you don't want to host 22 people you're just this is just your room um one thing about ops you do not get a, sing, a single bed this is a third quarter bed so yay to that and yeah this is how it looks over here you can actually open this part and store some of your things and this is my study desk i have my fan heater here if you didn't already know you're not allowed to have your bar heaters because they are a fire hazard so you you get to have a thing a fan heater that's my washing basket over there there isn't a lot of space and that's me with my grandmother and yeah this is my study desk another thingy and a bin over there up square is literally the woolworths of uct residences this is the kitchen usually eight to ten people share one kitchen but i'm not too sure about that so yeah And the lovely views. This is so nice. Very tempting because McDonald's is right there and KFC is over there. Also, pick and pay. Pick and pay yeah, is just around the corner, not five minutes away from here. So yay to that. And also we have Woolworths on the other side. Also very convenient if you're staying here. I have Sonia over here, lovely, beautiful, thank you, bye. The best thing about Op Square is that you have your own bathroom and that is amazing. Now, the things I don't like about the stress. The things I do. <sighs> One thing about people in the stress, they will steal your things. Ask. Ask. They will steal your things. I feel like use Woolsack is the ANC of UCT residences because they will steal your resources. They will steal your things. I remember early this year, I left my room unlocked for less than three minutes because i just went to my friend's room to borrow something when i came back my laptop was gone my laptop was gone and i'm like i just came here literally a week ago and now i'm i'm, I'm, I'm complaining about yo guys nobody's 
no ways whoever stole my laptop <laughs> it's just that i'm a christian it's just that i'm a christian and and i'm i'm generally a nice person but if i was not a christian if i was not a christian and i was not a good person <laughs> but anyway it's a good thing that i am I am a Christian, I'm a good person, and I wish them well. I wish them everything. I hope they forget to breathe. I hope they forget to breathe. Oh, I, I hope they trip and fall and lose all their front teeth. I'm just kidding. I, I wish them all the best in life. If you're coming to Woolsack, buy at least three padlocks, two for your cupboards in the kitchen, one for your door, and a bar fridge to store your food because, wow, they're going to steal your food.